Uh, good afternoon everyone, we are down Swansea today. Yes, you did hear me right, we are in Swansea. We do travel around quite a bit. It's gonna show you this oven. It's in an empty property. Uh, we've gotta get this clean now, ready to rent out. Just bring your attention, if you look at the floor, uh, we've got some sheets down. <coughs> now I have uh, said before in previous videos, it's very important that we protect your floor. So what we do, we put our waterproof sheet down and then we put some towels and uh, so forth on top. So then we know we protect your floor. So if we get any chemicals onto that, it's not gonna go through onto your floor. So it's very important that we protect that. So what we will do now, we will remove the door off this oven and then the racks have already gone into the dip tank into the van. All right, as you can see, this video is uh, quite dirty. So we're going to proceed now to get it clean. Now, uh, one of the processes, we heat the oven up now to about 180 degrees. And <clears throat> once it reaches that temperature, we can scratch around, take the uh, top surface off the grease and the dirt. And then at that time, then we'll get all masked up and goggles on. Safety is important, guys. Uh, say the chemicals that we use are uh, you know, toxic and able to do the job in hand, but obviously it's contained with inside the oven. But nonetheless, when we spray it on, we've got uh, vapor mask and then some goggles to cover our eyes to protect ourselves and then uh, we will leave that sit down for as long as possible probably about 20 minutes then it'll start breaking down the dirt and then Andrew will continue then to clean this lovely door over here to get it back to a clean state right just take this Darth Vader mask off a minute it's safe to do so now if you look at the glass the glass now is clean so you can see through the door again is uh, what we wanted the chemical now has been sat on there for about uh, 25 minutes, <coughs> hence why I've got my mask off, because it is safe now. The chemical has uh, done its job to a degree, or as best as it can now, and we'll be able to uh, wash it out and get it back up to his normal glory. And Andrew then should just be finishing the racks outside. So we're going to have a look. I say racks, there's only one rack in this particular oven. So anyway, I hope everyone's having a good day, a good start to the week. As I said, we're uh, in and around Swansea today. So, as you can see, Andrew just completed the last rack now, or the only rack for this oven. So that should be ready now to go in any minute, um, as soon as we've wiped out the inside and give that little scrape around. So if you are looking for a professional oven cleaning service, and you would like a deep clean on your oven, and you can see we strip him down so the door comes off the oven, as I just showed you again there. There's the oven shell, there's the door. And then all your racks, if you've got a fan assisted oven, then the back plate and racks will go into the dip tank in the back of the van And then we will clean those in there, clean the, the shell in place and then reassemble everything And it should be back to normal. So if you are looking for an oven cleaning service, you know where we are Hit on the clean and fresh tab on top, go straight to our clean and fresh page, hit the like button, show your support uh, Always good if you show your support guys and thank you to everyone that has I obviously thank you to everyone because uh, without you guys showing your support for the business and shit in the post then obviously we wouldn't be where we are today so uh, thank you to everyone Raz and if you are looking for an oven clean service or you want to check out our Facebook page see one of the services we offer as a business then do so or you can visit our website which is www.cleanandfreshwales.co.uk so have a good day have a good week